Hi there, so today's little video is just going to be on the basics of what rules you might need to know out on a sailing dinghy if you're racing or just cruising uh, to get you started. Um, there's going to be three that we're going to look at. The first is what we mean by port and starboard. The second is what we mean by windward and lured. And the third is what we mean by clear ahead and clear astern. If anyone's had a chance to pick up a, a racing rules book, it looks really long and really scary. Um, but if you understand the basics of these three rules, uh, it can keep you out of trouble. So first things first port and starboard. This is when two boats are sailing towards each other and they've got the wind on the opposite side to each other. You can see the wind arrow coming from the top of the screen there. So the boat here with the wind hitting the right hand side of the boat is on starboard tack. Starboard is like sailing term for right. And the boat here with the wind hitting the left hand side of the boat, the port side of the boat, is on port. And if these two boats were sailing towards each other, it is the port boat who has to keep clear. So he has, or she has two options. Can either go behind the starboard boat or could turn and tack away. So that's port and starboard, that's when two boats are sailing towards each other on opposite tacks. And it's the starboard boat that's going to have right of way. So that is port and starboard. So next up windward and lured. This comes into play when both boats are on the same tack. So these two here have both got the wind hitting the right hand side of the boat. They're both on starboard tack. But this one is closer to the wind than this one. The wind hits this one first. It is the windward boat and this one is the lured boat. And in this situation, when they are overlapped, they're level with each other, it is the windward boat that has to keep clear. The windward boat keeps clear. The same would apply if you had two boats going along on port. So with the wind hitting the left hand side of the boat that are overlapped, it's the windward boat again that would have to keep clear. So the final thing we mention is looking at clear ahead and clear astern. Again, this applies when both boats are on the same tack. So if we look at these two boats on starboard, and if we drew a straight line from the back of that first boat, and see that this boat is not overlapped with that line, it's astern, clear astern, or behind the boat in front. And this boat, as clear astern, has to keep clear of this boat, that's clear ahead. This here is just helping you decide whether or not the boats are overlapped or whether they're clear. So if I put this boat like that, that boat is overlapped and is now windward boat. It's now clear astern and in both situations there it would have to keep clear. But if I put it here, it's also overlapped, but now this boat is the windward boat 
and has to keep clear. There are some additional kind of factors to that rule, but the basics, if you're clear astern, you have to keep clear of a boat that's clear ahead. So, in summary, we've got port and starboard, and the starboard boat has right of way. We've got windward and leeward, and the windward boat has to keep clear, the leeward boat has right of way, and we've got clear ahead and clear astern, and a boat that's clear astern has to keep clear. Uh, there's been a really good set of uh, YouTube videos up from the RWA on the racing rules, so those that are looking for a little bit more in depth and situations around the race course, I recommend having a look at those. Give us a line if you've got any questions.